All right. I've gone on about Dexter before, but I kind of want to lay it all out here in one video, hopefully as quickly as possible. Basically, my problem with the show Dexter. One. And this is the biggest problem with the show. The biggest, by far. I can't get past it. It's a show about a serial killer. Sociopathic serial killer. Textbook serial killer. And yet, he has these very humid qualities all the time that real serial killers don't have. Where, such as sympathy, empathy, caring for other people. Where, in real life, serial killers are all about their own self-preservation and any of the other stuff where they care about other people or whatever. It's just a mask to fit into society so they could continue doing what they do. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, maybe you know serial killers better than me, but that's my understanding of them. And in Dexter, when the series starts off, he gets a girlfriend, Rita, as a mask to fit in with society and blah, 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 blah. But as it goes on, you find out he cares about his sister, his stepsister, or half sister, whatever the fuck. I don't even know for sure. But and it, he starts to care about Rita, like genuinely care about her. And he has kid with her, and he cares about his kids, and he cares about her kids, and he cares about like all these people. Like, you're basically a normal person then who kills people and you're a vigilante. That's not what the show was about. That's not the promise of the show. He's supposed to be a serial killer. And he does kill people on the show, but the way they've turned it is where he's just like a vigilante. And I'm sorry if I'm being kind of quiet, but I could get definitely more animated about this, but it's late and I'm trying not to wake my neighbors. But it doesn't make sense. <laughs> If he's a serial killer and he's driven by the urge to kill people, then he wouldn't have all these normal human emotions. At least from my understanding. Uh, what else sucks about this show? It never goes anywhere. Good serialized TV now has like this overarching plot. Like there's an arc to the story. Dexter, it goes in a circle over and over and over and over. When you get to the end of one season, it comes back to where it started. Because they're, they're all enclosed and it doesn't really build up to anything. Every season since like season three has been... There's a new character introduced to fucking sidetrack Dexter for the entire season and the audience for the entire season so that they don't have to move the plot of Dexter forward. Uh, season three, Jimmy Smith's supposed to be his like partner in crime, and it goes on for a whole season. Season four, John Lithgow, the other serial killer that he finds out about, and he wants to learn from. And you know, I kind of enjoyed Jimmy Smith's season. I kind of, I definitely enjoyed John Lithgow's season. I think season four is the most fun you could have with the show, but it still has its same fundamental problems. Like, I enjoy John Lithgow, his character. I enjoyed that season. The Thanksgiving episode is probably my favorite episode in the series. But it's distraction from moving the main plot forward. Season 5, stupid as fuck. Julia Stiles, like this girl that was victimized by like this group of killers or like whatever. It doesn't make any fucking real sense. And, like, the whole season is Dexter plotting with her to get even with them, to get revenge, but also falling in love with her. And That stuff is so terrible. Like, it's so... Ugh. But, so that's the thing, is it never wants to advance the plot. When the main plot should be Dexter's killing people, you know... And these, this group of police, like an entire police department that he works with, should be closing in on him. 
but they're not. Even though they're supposedly smart and they're like really good at solving crimes, but they never get they'll get closer and then they get further away. Like there's a senior at the end of season five where his sister almost finds out who she is, but there's a convenient like translucent sheet and she doesn't want to like peek around it to see who he is. Fucking stupid. And the other thing is three. So one the central problem with the show, which is Dexter's character. Two, the fact that the show doesn't want to move forward at all. It just wants it to be like this long-running series that goes nowhere. Three, that the cast sucks. I'm sorry. It's not a good cast. Michael C. Hall or whatever it is, his name is. Uh, the main character, Dexter. He's been in some other things. Um, he was really good as David, I think was his name, on Six Feet Under. He's very good as Dexter. He sells the show. He makes it fun. He makes it w w mostly why I watch it. But the rest of the cast, outside of the guest stars, like Julia Stiles is okay, but you know, John Lithgow is very good. Jimmy Smith was very good. But the rest of the cast is terrible. They're atrocious. Sure, Jennifer Carpenter is his sister. Or La Guerta. Or these people. They'll start to grow on you after time. Because you've been watching them for dozens and dozens of hours. But just based on their acting in general, it's shitty, dude. And it contributes to this overall, like corny vibe of the show where it's just like corny poorly written characters and poorly acted by like a shitty cast and I'm sorry if you like it but that's that's how that's my take on it it's just it's so corny like all the surrounding characters are so fucking corny and stupid and like the music fits perfectly with that cause do 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 it's like the show doesn't want to be taken seriously at all. And it could be. It could be an awesome show, and it could be more serious and darker than it is. People are like, what are you talking about? It's totally dark. Like, he's a serial killer, dude. No, he's a vigilante. That's what he is. And he wants to redeem himself. And he wants to become more humid. And this and that. And that's fucking... Like, he gets to, like, the only way this show works is if he is kind of a vigilante and he's killing bad people, people that are worse than him. But they want you to like him so much that they add all this stuff that, like, you don't need. You don't need him to be as human as he is and wanting to make himself a better person and a better dad. And, he, you know, for a while he wanted to be a good husband to Rita and blah, blah, blah. It would be enough if the writers had just had faith in the premise. It would be enough that he's a terrible, terrible person, but he's killing people that are just as bad. That would be enough that the audience would be on his side. But they don't have faith in that, so they had to make him more likable. They want you to really, really like Dexter. When you would like him enough as it is, it would be fun enough as it is. But Now, I haven't seen... Season 6 yet. I will watch it. I will keep watching the show. Because no matter what you think about a show. If you've watched like that many episodes of it. You're kind of like invested. And you don't drop it. Like the only show I've dropped. After like a couple dozen episodes. Is Rescue Me. Because that show just jumped the shark. That show just. I stopped watching. When the older guy. On Rescue Me. His. And the spoiler, if you're in the middle of watching Rescue Me, but it was like early in season three. Dude, um, the older guy whose wife has like Alzheimer's or something, he like offs himself, he shoots himself. And it's like at that point, I'm just like, this show, it, that show was stupid. I don't want to make this about Rescue Me, though. I want to focus on fucking De Dexter. There's just th three things like there. You have a bad cast that contributes to a corny vibe. 
you have a show that doesn't move forward. It's in its sixth season, and it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere towards its ending. It really doesn't. Like, most shows you watch now really do, f- like, the good ones feel like they're moving forward. They're It's like a long novel. Dexter doesn't feel like that. It's like watching an episode of a fucking cartoon every week. You know, it's like the fucking Simpsons. They'll, they'll do Dexter forever if fucking people keep watching. They will. And then it's just my main problem where, where it, it's not believable to me that this guy is a serial killer. And he's totally inhuman, except he's totally human, totally likable. It's just not. The saving grace of that show is it does have a nice premise to it if they didn't fuck it up. And Michael C. Hall. That's what makes it work. But other than that, I, I just don't I don't get it. I don't get why people are such huge fans of it. Like everyone I know fucking loves the fucking movie or movie the show. My dad likes it, like and I'm just like I don't I don't see it. And I love horror and I love like shit like that. I love serial killer shit, like this should be right up my fucking alley. But it's not. It doesn't do it right. It doesn't do it justice. It's fucking corny. It's stupid. I've tried to give it so many chances. And there's points where I'm like having fun. I'm like John Lithgow. That was great. Like that whole season was fun. Jimmy Smith. I was having fun with that. But at the same time I'm like. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change. It doesn't make the show better. But the only thing that's gotten better as it's gone along. Is they killed Dokes. Because the guy that played Dokes. Was one of the worst fucking actors I've ever seen. Just shout all his lines. What the fuck you doing, motherfucker? Like, shout at him. So bad. Watch anything. Watch it. There's so many other good, good shows that, like, I don't get how people can be fanatics of this. Like, watch The Shield. It's all out on DVD. It's amazing. Watch Breaking Bad. It's a masterpiece. It's not even done yet. Watch The, the Wire. Shit, watch fucking Sons of Anarchy. That has a shitty third season, but at least that is going somewhere. It could get kind of annoying at points, and it's taking a sweet time getting certain things to happen, but it's Dexter is just it's it's not it's not moving the drama forward. There's major problem with its central story, and it's just a corny fucking show and I honestly feel like I'm the only one that feels this way because I've never seen anyone else say it so share your thoughts on Dexter I know I have a lot of TV show viewers that watch my channel I know I'm going to get some like backlash on this but that's how I feel about it uh, share your thoughts on it and I, if there's someone out there that feels the same way on Dexter let me know so I, at least I know I'm not alone because I feel like I'm the only one that notices that this show is very mediocre with very mediocre cast and writing and it's just corny. It's a corny fucking show. Watchable, but corny. Nothing to be in love with. That's my thoughts on Dexter. That's the fucking, that's the problem with Dexter.